Hey, good afternoon and welcome to My Chamber TV. This is the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce uh, a, a, a week. You know, we're here to, and we're in downtown Safety Harbor at Advise Wise Financial. I love the name. I love the fact. Thank you. I, you know, I'm kind of slow sometimes and you had to point out, well, you know, you know, Advise is outside the box and you guys think outside the box. So let's talk about Advise Wise. Yeah, so Advice Wise Financial is your local financial planning firm in uh, Safety Harbor, exactly on Main Street in downtown. Uh, we specialize in, in financial planning services, investment management, retirement planning, uh, college education planning, and insurance services like life insurance and disability insurance. Okay. Uh, we opened up Advice Wise Financial with the belief that everyone deserves access to high quality financial advice. Okay. We differentiate ourselves from the competition in a way that I'm sure you heard if, if you save 250,000, right. call XYZ. Yeah. If you save 500,000 and you need help, call us. We don't have that. Right. We believe everyone deserves access to high quality financial advice. Everyone needs a financial plan. So that's what we're here serving the community. We don't ask you how much you have or how right. much you know. You need help. We're here to help. Because I don't know very. I mean, I know people. I know some people that's got that kind of money, but I know a lot of people that do not have that kind of money. And so you're willing, you know, you're willing and able to be able to come in. And so, so I'm 56. So right. So say I have not, re I'm not saved anything for retirement. Can I come in and would you guys say, okay, we can help you retire? John, yes. The answer is yes, yes. So uh, the way we approach every client is we have a three-step approach uh, on our financial planning uh, uh, process. So we will have the conversation, we'll sit down, we'll understand what's important to you and your family, what are your goals, what are your objectives. We identify your needs, uh, then we'll identify and find out a strategy that is fitted to your, to your uh, ideas. And at that time, we'll implement the strategy. Um, so on the last step, we'll monitor and see how well we're doing and how well you're doing on your strategy. So, okay. yes. So is it possible, and I, I know, I, is it possible someone in their mid fifties that's not saved a dime? I mean, literally has like maybe 500 bucks in the bank. Is it possible for them, if you're working with these guys, to be able to retire in their seventies? And again, the answer is yes. Okay. Uh, we just have to work uh, closely, understand what are your goals, what are your needs, okay. and what are your what are you trying to achieve? You know, how much money we need to save every month, and what do you what is the ultimate goal? Okay. So once we establish that, we'll be able to uh, create a plan that is unique to you, okay. and be able to um, help you along the way, uh, monitor the plan, and adjust it accordingly. Uh, as it comes you know, as, as they say better late than never right yeah right <laughs> exactly because you know I know, i'm pretty sure that medicare and medicaid's and in, in all and social security is not going to have is not a retirement plan right that is a oh crap i got something coming in just in case now your fiduciary is correct mm -hmm. what Absolutely. is a fiduciary a fiduciary is a is an advisor who puts the client's best interest first Okay. Uh, before your firm, before the institution you work with, before anything, you talk to the client, uh, the, the individual, the family or the business owner, and you put them at the center of everything. Right. So here at Advice Wise Financial, we partner with some of the best um, estate planning attorneys, mm -hmm. some of the best CPAs and accountants in, in, in Central Florida and, and, and the Tampa Bay area. Um, so we incorporate our strategic, we call them strategic partners. Right. Uh, we incorporate them during the conversation with our clients to make sure that we are really delivering on the fiduciary okay. uh, responsibility. Right. Making sure that we're helping you protect and grow your assets and help you um, prepare for anything that that may come up in the future. So it's truly a, you, it becomes a team effort. It's, it's, you know, cause I, I have, spoken to people and they're like, well, I went and saw, I went and saw my accountant and I went and saw my, my advisor. And then I went and saw my attorney and I'm like, you guys aren't like kind of all working together type of thing. Uh, it, you know, so that, that kind of makes me feel a little bit better. Absolutely. So when we help um, clients, we, we explain the team approach. We say that this is your one-stop shop for your financial planning needs. Okay. So if there is something that we don't spe specialize in or something we don't know the answer to, right. we'll make sure we consult an expert. They'll give you the, the, the exact, uh, the, okay. the, the correct answer. So in the beginning, is it like a very, in the beginning, we meet a lot. 
right? And then it kind of becomes easier because now you've got the client going, okay, this is what we need you to do. Is that, is that the? Yes, so as you know, as we mentioned, you know, as far as the process, you know, we, once we identify the need and we have uh, the goal uh, of the client, then we'll create the plan and we monitor as we go. Now, the communication style of each client is different. So some clients they like to meet quarterly, some clients want to meet uh, semi-annually, some clients like to, to meet monthly. Right. So it all depends on what uh, the client's needs are and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll meet that need appropriately. And, and also we are very proactive. Uh, okay. We're not reactive by, by all means. So if there is anything going on, either you know something in the market or something um, election or anything that might, we see that it might impact a client or certain clients oh, or a yeah. group of our clients, we reach out, we invite them uh, to the office for, for an appointment and we discuss how, might, how that might impact your financial right. plan. So right. we make okay. the changes if it's necessary. That's that's really good. So, but, but what if I am one of those kinds of guys that got, you know, I've got about half a million dollars sitting in the bank, I need to really get some stuff going. You still want that client, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So when I when I said we don't set any any minimums, um, we want to provide advice to everybody. everybody. So that includes the one that has, you know, that just received the first paycheck <laughs> yeah. and looking to be responsible and, right. and think long term, all the way to the ultra high net worth clients. You know, we have the expertise. We're both certified wealth strategists, and we're ready for any situation. So everybody wants. This is the one question that everybody. What got you into this this world? So um, for me, it was another uh, former advisor. Uh, at that time, I was in a banking industry. I was working as a teller, and he's actually, uh, his presentation and his, uh, the way he treated his clients uh, changed the way I wanna, I wanna help my clients the same way. So uh, my mentor at that time, um, make me realize how important this job is especially in this environment um, to be in the community be the resource and provide guidance for financial education um, so that's kind of uh, what got me into this business is the passion of helping clients uh, in the along the process of the financial future finding independence in their financial what about it's, it's, well it's for me it was because of the importance of of financial planning uh, you know, you work all your life, you save money. Mm -hmm. Is it is it enough? You know, I have, I'm I'm the youngest of a, a big family. You know, I have a, a lot of brothers and sisters, and growing up, I, I had siblings that are getting closer to retirement, and mm -hmm. I've seen them. You know, all these questions: is, is, Did right. they do the right thing? Because sometimes you can't go back. You nope. can start, but right. you can't go can't back. Go so for me, right. it was the importance. You know, I wanted to make an and impact and, 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 and help uh, my community and serve my community. And I think it's a way for me to, to achieve that. That's awesome. I mean, it's really, cause you know, it, sometimes I just have to wonder like, were you flipping burgers three weeks ago and all of a sudden you're like, now you're a financial guy. Yeah. Whoa, not the guy I want to talk to. But. Well, John, it takes a lot of uh, education. It takes a right. lot of learning. It takes, it takes a lot of time to actually become a financial advisor and a, a fiduciary. Um, but you know, the most important thing is giving back. And right. for us, uh, that's one of the reasons we're in Safety Harbor, is we want to give back to the community, we want to give back uh, to our Tampa Bay, right. and not only. And the way to do that is by providing guidance and education and financial literacy to our clients. I, ha I have to say, right? I have to say, I love it when I, I, I look at financial advisor guys. I mean, I know a lot of them, right? And I get the ones that come in with the dark circles under their eyes and everybody, they look like they've not slept. And you guys look rested. So that tells me you kind of knowing what you're doing because you're sleeping well. Well, absolutely. We love what we do. Um, you know, when you do the right thing and, and you put your clients first, there is nothing that would make you lose sleep. Right. So we love it. We, we live and work in the community. Right. And Safety Harbor, it's beautiful. You don't feel like Gorgeous, you work. Right. You know, you can walk and go get a coffee and talk to your neighbors and talk to other business owners. We love it here. So that's why. We look rested. <laughs> yes, it, it's a big deal. Yeah. Well, I do have a five mile old, but you know. Well, so. yeah. I remember those days. I remember those days. Let <laughs> yeah. me tell you. Yeah, that, that's some rough time right there. Yeah. So, how's the best way someone can reach out to you guys? Well, um, we have a website, okay. advicewisefinancial.com. Okay. Um, you can, they, you can uh, put your information, 
uh, we'll get a notification, we'll call you back within 24 hours. Nice. Uh, you can reach us through the, the main phone number, easy to remember, 727-475-9111. And also we have two social media outlets. Uh, we have our LinkedIn and we have also our Facebook. Okay. And those are the some of the ways that you can contact us and get in touch with us. Excellent. And our website has a, a lot of information That's about good. financial planning, a lot of videos, fun videos to watch. Right, right. They're within a minute or less, okay. 60 seconds or less. Uh, I encourage anyone watching this to go ahead and visit our website. There you go. That's a, a good first place to, to, to start learning about financial planning. Excellent. All right, everybody, stick around. We got great more guests. Safety Harbor has knocked it out of the park with guests today. We'll be right back after these messages. everybody we are back and now we are going to talk to tracy from aravila uh, well right? thank you clearwater yeah. memory care so I, I i i made the joke and i should have joked that you know when you come in what do you help people with their memories and i guess you really do mm -hmm. so let's talk we about do. aravila well we are a brand new uh, five-star luxury dedicated memory care community okay. um, we are an assisted living but we only specialize in memory care, so we're standalone, which is excellent. Um, Let's talk about, okay, real quick. What, yeah. is, what is memory care? Memory care, so anyone that has like Alzheimer's, dementia, any okay. type of cognitive impairment, um, things like that nature. Oh, that okay, nature. that makes sense yeah. now. Mm -hmm. I just wanna let everybody know at home, well, you know, you know, no, yeah. we're not looking for a place for John. Just say it. Yeah. Anyway, yes. so let's continue on with what Aravela does. So we opened about a year ago in April, wow. and um, but we are not new to the industry. Okay. And um, we also have Aravilla Sarasota as well. And um, we are all inclusive in our pricing. So all of your medications, all of your assistance with any of your activities of daily living, like bathing, dressing, grooming, things like that. A lot of redirecting, a lot of cueing. That's what memory care really differentiates between an assisted living, which is a regular, ALF. what we call ALF, right, right. and then the memory care. It's a secured environment. Um, we are fully furnished. So all of our rooms, we have a couple different floor plans to choose from, studios, one bedrooms. Um, we even have a larger one bedroom called the Pearl Suite, which is amazing. Um, and we actually have couples that would live there. Maybe one has dementia, the other one does not, but we can accommodate a, a couple, okay. a spouse situation, right? which is really nice because a lot of times people don't want to be separated. Right. Um, we have a great robust activities calendar so their day is go 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 the the deal is stay stimulated stay active we need social engagement right, in a secure right. environment where we have care staff that can redirect and things like that um so what we would do day in life in our villa right. get up have breakfast you know take a stroll outside as a group come back in, do fusion fitness, maybe have coffee and conversation. Then it's time to start with our live entertainment, which we have twice a day, wow. morning and afternoon. Okay. It's, um, we have this beautiful promenade space right. uh, where uh, I call it Grand Central Station. It's the hub of fun. There's a cafe, there's a hair salon there, there's our therapy room there. So that's um, where everything happens. And so we'll do our exercise, then we have the live music, we go to lunch, then we ramp back up for more wow. activities afterwards. You do keep them going, right. Yeah. Now, is this, an, mm -hmm. is this an age restriction? Like, you, is it only so, the elderly or is it middle-aged people in there as well? Yeah, it's really, you know, like 60. Okay. 
Yeah, Those 60 old range. people that seek no distinction. Uh, <laughs> uh, we don't think of them as old. I'm not old. <laughs> it's just part of the journey. Right. What I love about my position at Aravilla is helping adult children of their loved ones, their parents, who they truly need to find a solution. They need to find a secure place right. where they know their parents are going to receive the care that they need, okay. but also the social stimulation. Stim, stim, ugh, can't say it. St right. Stimulation. Ugh. Okay. Stimulization. Anyway. Um, and also all of the medical attention that they need. Right. They need all the medical, uh, like medication management. Yeah, because if you can't remember, mm -hmm. if, you're not, exactly. if, if you're not remembering well, you're not going to take your medications. Right. And you're, next thing you know, you're not going to remember to eat. Right. Yeah. You don't remember to bathe. Right. There are all these different obstacles. And families try for a while, usually at home, with yeah. in-home care. But I always hear the same story. I really... You know, mom's just sitting in front of the TV. She's right. not engaging with other people. And here we see friendships built um, and just stimulation, right. activity, conversation. We have a beautiful outdoor space, a secured courtyard area for them. Right. So they have a lot of freedom when they're inside the community. We have a guided pathway, little front porches. Um, Everything is included. When you come to us, it's like you go on vacation. All you need is your clothes, your favorite toiletries, and your medications. It's like you're... So the, everything's already yeah. furnished. It's all furnished. ready to go. We have comforters, sheets, wow. towels, artwork, okay. everything. Mm -hmm. that, you know, you, you do get you do get pictures of the mm -hmm. old, you know, like when you say I'm going to the old folks home and then uh -huh. your brain goes, mm -hmm. there's these people sitting around not doing nothing all day long. Mm -hmm. But that's not happening there. That's you, not happening. Wow, Our staff is... directs everybody to activities. So they're out and about. They direct them for everything. And that's that's the additional over oversight right that you don't get in a regular ALS right. yes because then when you don't have a memory care issue and you're looking at a calendar and you say oh I want to go to bingo at 2 30 yeah great you know to go to bingo at 2 30 right. they don't have the concept of time right so therefore we have to ensure that we are getting them where they need to go at all times okay we're helping them through their day Wow. So I'm going to ask the, I'm going to ask the obvious question because everybody watching at home is going, well, OK, well, how much does this cost? Mm -hmm. Right. Because that's mm -hmm. always the big thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants the best for your parents or mm -hmm. your grandparents or whatever, whatever the situation is. Mm -hmm. But it's all it all it seems like it always comes down to can mm -hmm. I afford it? Yes. So um, our least expensive is going to start at forty three ninety five. And again, that's all inclusive, mm. all inclusive in pricing. We don't have levels of care. Right. OK. And then our most expensive, which would be our largest Pearl Suite floor plan is going to be twelve thousand. Now, is this can can insurance cover this or is is this or is it more? It's just going to be out no, of pocket. It, it's a private pay. OK. Private mm -hmm. pay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, mm -hmm. So now you've got two facilities like this. Mm -hmm, here do. in here in Sarasota, mm -hmm. I, heard, I think you said correct. And they're both they're both the same. They're built mm -hmm. the same way. Mm -hmm. Wow, that mm -hmm. is. That. And you've only been open a little over a year. Just over a year. Here, a mm -hmm. April eighth. Mm -hmm. Wow. And we will in time. We're in design phase now. Okay. Um, actually, build a hundred and twenty bed assisted living That's on where the my same question property. Is, is, so mm -hmm. how how are you full right now? Are you getting uh, there? We have three rooms left. Wow, mm -hmm. that is yeah. well. Congratulations! Thank you. I, it sucks yeah. for them, but yeah. but for you guys, that's mm -hmm. good. And it's mm -hmm. good to know that there is a facility mm -hmm. like this. Um, we've actually had the pleasure of uh, for uh, Safety Harbor and Upper Tampa Chamber of being mm -hmm. able to film at some of these different locations. Mm -hmm. And I'm always amazed on how how rambunctious mm -hmm. they are. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but with you, it's a little more different. You have mm -hmm. to kind of push and make mm -hmm. sure and control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. So how do give how do people get a hold of you and talk to you about So this? you can call our main number okay. which, or visit our website. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, Facebook, Instagram as well. Follow us on both of those. Um, and you can call me at 727-260-2860. Oh, is it? Is that the I number? Think, so, <laughs> I the, can't so, remember. So, Tracy, what do you do there? 
I'm the marketing director. Oh, so, okay. so I'm the one you're going to speak with first. We're going to set up a tour. We're going to get together. Okay. We're going to walk through the property. We're going to talk about floor plans, floor plans, pricing, all of those things. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, is it possible? So say I'm thinking mm -hmm. about, you know, mm -hmm. something like this for my parents. Um, sure. Do as I, as a family, can do I get to come in and like try the food? So see if they like the food. Sure, we so, can invite you for lunch. Right. We can do a tour, lunch tour, see the property, have some food. So that you know, it's always good to know mm -hmm. what my parents are going to be in. You know, mm -hmm. what's the experience? Mm -hmm. You know, Sorry, sometimes I'm get a drink. sometimes mm -hmm. I don't want to send my kids to schools Ugh. because the schools or the lunches are like I, I, mm -hmm. I wouldn't eat that. And now I'm mm -hmm. going to make them eat that, right? Mm -hmm. um, or the type of personnel that you have, because mm -hmm. that's always the scary thing. You hear mm -hmm. nightmare stories, mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like to me you don't have time for nightmare stories. You there just to kind of keep them getting along mm -hmm. um so you're gonna build you're gonna have a phase two a phase two we're wow. super excited it'll be beautiful it will have a pool um outdoor bar area what are some of the activities that you do do there so um we have we'll do like a sip and paint we'll have an ice cream social the live entertainment twice a day um bingo everybody loves bingo you got to have bingo Bingo's awesome. a lot of crafting okay. things like that we'll do flower arrangements they love they want to be useful right. and important right. and helpful so if you give them little jobs you know they might help pass out candy at bingo or oh, you awesome. know anything right like that okay mm -hmm. well Thank you for being on today. Yeah. We really yeah. appreciate it. Now, mm -hmm. now, now, my son over there is like, "Hey, I got a place to send pops. That's awesome." <sighs> you know, it always scares me sometimes when I have these kind of people on. That um, hey, thanks for watching. We got great more guests, uh, many, many more guests coming up. Uh, stick around. Go get something to drink, eat, snack, whatever you want to do, and come right back. We'll be right back after these messages. Okay, we're back, and now we're going to be healthy. We're going to talk about healthy. I got Morgan Weber. She is from Burn Boot Camp. Am I correct? Burn Boot Camp Clearwater, yes. Clearwater. Okay, because yes. must, there must be some of these, right? So I'm just going to flat. What is Burn Boot Camp Clearwater? Burn Boot Camp Clearwater. Great question. Thanks for asking. <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> uh, so long story short, short and sweet of it, uh, we sell confidence. So if you're looking to gain a community, get in shape, put yourself first. If you're a mom that is constantly giving, 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 pouring out, and you want to fill your cup, we're there for you. Okay. If you're a man and you want to gain some lean muscle mass or just like grow your mass, we're there for you. Okay. It's group fitness, 45 minute boot camp, led by a certified trainer. So you still get that individualized one-on-one -on -one experience, oh, okay. um, but start to finish in your health journey, we're there for you. So is it one? Is okay. So it's not a gym per se, right? It has come in, and you've got a regimented. You do different things during that forty-five minutes. Yes. Okay. So each day is different. We okay. lay out the weekly protocol on Sunday. You can see Monday through Saturday what each workout is. Oh, you want is. me there six days a week? Absolutely. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> We'll work your way up to it. So okay. we've got, um, we meet you where you're at. So okay. it's really good at, um, all the trainers are really good at modifying the workouts. So whether you're day one in your journey or you have been working out since, you know, tumbling as a baby, oh, okay. we've got you. So all of the trainers are really good at meeting you where your fitness level is. Okay. Um, but we do a combination of strength days or high intensity cardio days. So you're really going to work out inside, outside. So when you say weights, now is that a, is that like uh, free weights? Is it you know is it the rack systems? Yeah, so we've got all the kit and caboodle for you. You got so everything. We've got, yes, we've got battle ropes. We've got dumbbells. We've got terracores, bosu balls. What's a terracores? Terracores. What is that? <laughs> 
you're going to come and we're going to show you. Oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> I can already see it now. Yeah, so they're, they're um, basically, uh, you can do anything on it. You can do glute bridges. You can oh, okay. do half burpee hop overs. There's a lot you can do on it. You know, the, the world's changed. Yes, I'm yeah. old, right? Yeah. And, I, and I'm the old days of sit-ups, push-ups, jumping jacks, run three miles, lift a little bit of weights, and then you're good. Well, there is something to be said about the the standards and the basics. Though so we work well, we do jumping jacks almost every day. And so. pull ups. I forgot pull ups. Yes. Pull ups are so important. They really are. They work. And so you you work all that. So you you kind of you really do. You find the individual and go, okay, this is what you looks like you need to work on. And then you what? And then you ask them, what do you want to work on? Yes. So. I just want to look better. You know, lean a little bit, lean up, maybe a little more mass. I'm, I'm a skinny guy. I can't, I can't put mass on. It's just, it is what it is. But, um, so, but you help, do you help them with their diets as well? Absolutely. Now let's so talk about that. when I say start to finish, a lot of people come in, they're, they're nervous, they're intimidated. I mean, group fitness, that's very intimidating to walk yeah. into, you know, whether you have worked out before or never worked out a day in your life. Um, so we're really good at calming everyone right. and making it a very welcoming atmosphere. But we, um, will help you start to finish. So we do uh, complimentary focus feeding. So it's an opportunity to meet one-on-one -on -one with the trainer. Okay. Um, so you can talk nutrition, you can talk your goals. Most people, when they walk in, they're like, uh, I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. But really like, what do you want? How do you want to feel? So we take it a gonna, step. I was going to ask it, you know, cause, so, you know, cause a lot of people go, oh yeah, I want to be bigger. I want to be thin. I want to, but I just want to feel healthier. Yes, absolutely. So it's like, where, what insecurities do you want to shed and how much confidence do you want to gain? So that's really ultimately what our goal is for everyone that walks through that door. So most people are like, oh, well, society needs, I, society says I need to look skinny or I need to look like this Instagram model. That's not our game. You will probably lose weight in the interim, but mm -hmm. you're going to gain confidence. You're going to lose some insecurities that you need to not carry out anymore. Um, you're going to gain some lean muscle mass and a great solid community for you. It, it is scary for most people to walk into a gym because you've got, like for a guy, you walk in here and these dudes are like, <laughs> just and, 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 no, and I know just, I think I think a, a well-fit woman is an absolutely beautiful woman, but you get the girls that are just, women that are just, you're like, God, she, she could kick my rear end for absolutely. God's sake. We've got that. You want, I'm sure there's someone that can be do, do a black flip. You know, once you see some of those women do some, burpees and you know they can run 10 miles after a workout right i mean we've got some fit chicks but yes it can be very intimidating but there's every different fitness level we have okay. um one woman in her 70s working out alongside an 18 year old so in the same camp so same camp. and and everyone blends beautifully wow yes. I, I'm, I'm kind of impressed with that because you know you know but you have stuff on here now you have a success story that you want to talk let's talk about your success story yes so brooke here is um one of our um soon to be trainers so she actually started as a um a member she came for our um grand opening we did okay. a free 30 days and um you know she's like oh i've just kind of always been this way but i'll just check it out and fast forward and look at her incredible transformation. We that are amazing. so, so, so proud of her. But um, she, you know, everyone goes through life and you have a chance, you know, you go through an obstacle in your life. And you're like, how do I want to go? Do I want to let this defeat me or do I want to rise above and crush this obstacle mm -hmm. ahead of me? And she has more than crushed it. Not even just in her fitness journey, just in her personal life. Um, so she was a member. Then she started having some wins. She started working for our child watch team. And now she got her NASM personal training certification okay. and she's going to be a trainer. So typically I know everybody, everybody's different, but what is the, what's the kind of a time frame? I mean, do I need to be there every day or do I need to be there a couple times a week? Um, if I know if I'm there every day, my results will be gained probably faster right it's what you put into it okay whatever you put into something is what you're going to get out of it so we're here to help you we're here to be your accountability there are some people that they come and they're like oh, i know i'm going to be here six days a week don't call me i'll show up at the same camp time Friday 30 a.m i'm there um and then there are some people that kind of need that community feel they need right. the accountability they right. find their buddy um, that's one thing our members are really good at. They're like, hey, you go to 830 camp? Me too. And I have some time. Sometimes right. I talk myself out of it. I'd rather go grab a pizza. <laughs> 
So text me every day. Boy, that's and me right there. I'm with <laughs> Just you. Saying. I have those days. So right? we're really good at like um, building the community. If our team is not reaching out to you saying, hey, we haven't seen you in a couple of days. Why, why don't we book you for a camp? Um, our team is really good at coming. Um, or our members are really good at connecting with each other and kind of finding your workout buddy. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a lot easier to show up when you have a buddy that you're looking it forward is. to right. see as well. Right. Exactly. You know that. You know, in that accountability partners is a very in all aspects of life is very big deal. Absolutely. Yeah. It takes a village. I've got two young kids, and there's no way I could do it by myself. <laughs> we even saw. I mean, they're with me at the gym all day, every day. So I put them through it. They're only two and four. Wow. Yes. And um, I mean, our team is really good at jumping in. It, it totally takes a village to get through life. But if you start them early, yeah, they right? understand the lifestyle. Yeah. They understand why. It's not just mommy made me do this or daddy made me do this. They get why it's good to be healthy and fit in the whole nine yards. Absolutely. Right? It's one of, the, one of the qualifying questions that we have for people when they come in, like, why are you doing this? Initially, people keep it surface level. We're so good in life at like keeping things surface level. I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. Right. But really, why are you doing this? And that's part of, obviously, my kids are a huge reason why right. I decided to own a gym right. <laughs> with our family. So we're family, family owned. Uh, it's myself and my husband and then my sister and her husband. Okay. And um, I, was, I was getting ready to ask you, I was like, what, what is your why? Because yeah. there's always a why. Absolutely. I mean, I, I have so many reasons why, but I think, um, you know, when you go through life, you we're so good at like tagging on all these insecurities mm -hmm. and all of these kind of lies about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I am so exhilarated when I constantly like gain more confidence and just naturally those insecurities shed. So I think that's a huge reason why it feels good to gain a little bit more self-assurance, self-love and self-confidence. But, um, Obviously, I want to look good for my husband too. But well, yes. He says I'm beautiful no matter what. And, and <laughs> so it's that, always and, good to have that yes, as a partner. Right. But um, my kids definitely. Okay. Now you have products on here. Yes. So you you guys have, actually have your own branded products. Yes. So we have um, protein. We've got protein bars. Um, so one thing that I love about the protein um, is it's grass fed. It's non GMO. It's really no artificial flavoring. Right. It's a very clean source of protein. Um, whether you're working out every day or um, right. taking a rest day, right, right. still good to get in your protein. Um, and then we've got bars. And then we just rolled out this um, Replenish, um, which is one of my favorites. I was doing a high intensity cardio day, you know, when you're just feeling depleted. Yeah, yeah, feeling, I mean, yeah, especially yep. in this Florida heat. Right. I mean, it can get hot. Um, so just restoring some of your electrolytes. Oh. Um, Excellent. Definitely helps. Yes. Now, where can we Where can we find you guys? Where are you located? So you got about we are, 30 seconds left. We're, all right. We're, we're, we're winding um, down. We are at the corner of McMullen and Enterprise. Okay. We are the Clearwater Burn Boot Camp location. Um, and you can sign up today. Start your seven-day free trial. It includes complimentary trial watch. It includes unlimited camps. Your one one-on-one wow. with your trainer. Yes. Okay. That's awesome. If you want to get in shape, you want to get healthier, that's awesome. Look. There you go. Look at Morgan. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. All right. Stick around. We've got more great interviews coming up um, and uh, we'll be right back right after these messages. Hey, we're back. Guess what? We've got Kurt Forster from the Pinellas County Economic Development, but you also are representing something else as well, correct? Right. My division within economic development represents the Florida Small Business Development Center. Mm -hmm. So we've got our own uh, SBDC center in Pinellas. Wow. Okay. So what, what everybody, you know, everybody hears the names, but what does it actually do? Right. So what we do is we're, we've been federally, state, and locally funded to help people with their small business. It might be starting a business, 
all the way to selling a business. Everything okay. in between. Government contracting, borrowing money, business plans, marketing plans. We've got experts in all of those areas to help people. Really? So if I'm a small business guy, I, I, say I got an idea for a business. Sure. You guys are, you, especially if I'm in Pinellas, I should come see you. Absolutely. Let's walk through that process. Yeah, so people contact us. Um, you know, you can get there by going to our website at Pinellas County Economic Development uh, or a, a number of different other ways mm -hmm. on the web. But eventually, right, we get together and we're going to help people with tools on how to evaluate their business idea first, uh, how to project their expected income. Okay. And then just how to register with the state, how to uh, become a legal business. Right, right. That, that, is a, that is a very big deal because a lot of people don't, it, they don't they do it but they don't do it right you know what it feels like a big struggle when you don't know what you don't know yeah but it's really not that difficult okay and that's why we're it, that's why we're successful with helping people now do you help them write the business plans we and... do we have lots of tools for okay. uh, business planning All that right. we can share with them we don't actually write their plan for them it works out best when people write their own business plan right but we're there to help them along the way here's um, potential tools. We try to match with a, a template, for example, that might uh, match their style. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we're available to edit or for uh, informational resources to research the idea or the industry or that right. sort of thing. Okay. So I've always been told, um, and I've had several businesses, that the best person to talk to in the very beginning is someone that can see the end game of whether your whether your your business is going to be viable to sell or not, is that I, is that correct? I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, right. You know, when you have your your eye on an end game, and that's one of the things that we teach in some of our workshops. Because not only do we offer the one on one business consulting, but we offer uh, workshops that people can find and on our website. And um, that's one of the things I really emphasize in those workshops is having an end game, knowing what your goal is. Right. And as you mentioned, when you own your own business, your way out to sell this thing might just be your retirement plan. Correct. Right. And I've always, I've always told, I tell, tell uh, uh, young entrepreneurs all day long is that you find yourself a business broker. If anything, find yourself a business broker <laughs> because that dude right there will tell you if you're going to be starting a business that's in a red ocean or you're going to be a blue ocean. And a blue ocean business is easier to sell because you're not out there fighting all the other people. Yeah, you have to do some things to make your business uh, one that can transfer to other people. Now, do you help? Do you help startups get financing? We do, um, and and so those two words together uh, can be difficult, right? Yeah. So the the startup and the financing, uh, most traditional lenders don't like to lend money to a true startup. Okay. Uh, there are some exceptions to that rule in, you know, uh, with great credit and some other things. Uh, but so a person might have to start with some other resources mm -hmm. first, get established, get a year under their belt, uh, maybe even two or three years in some cases. But we do help them in that process of getting from here to being fully funded and being able to borrow money and that sort of thing. Okay. Now, what if I what if say okay, I've got a business. I've been I've been alive for about a year, year and a half, um, and I'm seeing struggles. Do you guys offer going? Okay, let me help you try to fix this. We do. Okay. We, we do. We help people with all sorts of management issues, and, and financial management is is a the tool that helps us kind of measure how things are going along the way. Okay. Uh, it, that's always seems to be the struggle. I, I meet guys all the time. I've been about a year and a half and it's just not going the way I thought it was going to go. So how, how do they get a hold of you guys to, to handle it? Is this the website as well or do they give you a call? Yeah, absolutely. Give us a, a call at Pinellas County Economic Development or uh, at, at the website pced.org and um, you can register right there to meet with a business consultant. I'm actually one of a team of six. So okay. uh, we've got a number of different people that may be able to help you with your specific issue. Okay. That, and Broad, you guys can understand, you, you probably can look at a business going, yeah, I've helped you before. I've helped this kind of before. <laughs> it's not probably anything you haven't seen. Yeah, but you know, everything is unique. It right. doesn't feel like the same day to day for right. what I do. It, everything is unique. Uh, there are a few things where, you know, we've got some answers because we have seen that before, mm -hmm. um, but it is everybody's business is unique. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so, so tell me, 
Give me an example uh, of some business that, that you've helped out so that kind of people at home will, know, will kind of understand. Right. Well, I'm, you know, one of the things we do is we provide anonymity to people. So I'm not going to mention oh, any actual yeah, yeah, names yeah. No, to, no, no, of no businesses. Names. Right, right. But, you know, everything from popular restaurants in the area, uh, manufacturers, uh, inventors, um, we, we have some targeted industries in economic development Okay. Um, with advanced manufacturing, for exa example. Uh, we really um, have some experts that are able to help with those sorts of things. Um, web design uh, or, or web-related businesses, uh, social media-related businesses. There oh, wow. isn't really okay. anything you could see down Main Street that we haven't assisted wow. with. Okay. okay. Now, do you help them with the marketing? Are, are getting fact, it under control? In fact, that's my expertise, is to try and help people with creating a campaign out of their marketing. Okay. So uh, maybe going on your show would be an example of great marketing, right? But if you do that only, and there's nothing else to support that, it kind of fizzles and dies. Right. And so we don't want you know marketing to kind of go out there, it makes a bang, and then the, the show's over. Right. We want to be able to connect that to other things they're doing with uh, perhaps networking in the Chamber of Commerce, um, their social media, hey, tune into this. Uh, right. And then ultimately to be able to make an offer out of the things that they're doing. You know, wow. We're not just kind of doing this stuff to, right. to be seen, but right. to actually make an offer. Yeah, it, it's, it's nice to open a business and make some money. I mean, it kind of helps <laughs> yeah. you pay the bills and feed your family and the whole nine yards. But that's what I help people with most is how do I get more customers? Right. Let's help you create a campaign. Okay. Um, and now... Is, is anybody viable to come in and see you? I mean, yep. startups down to, oh, I've been doing this for 15 years and I kind of got a handle on it, but I could really need to melt. So it, it's funny because, you know, people kind of think, well, you got to have a problem to, to get right. help from the SBDC. Yeah. But we're, we're actually even more effective when people who are very successful because it's that one extra piece that moves people to be able to hire another person or to get to that next level of income. Uh, or to get that loan because it's an established business or whatever. So um, we love helping existing businesses and we love helping, you know, brand new entrepreneurs. Well, do you have any, so if I, I guess it's all about on the website, but I, I ask these questions anyway, do you have, do you have classes weekly? We do. Uh, every Tuesday we have two workshops. Um, you can find them on our website. Um, they, they're live, so you, you'll want to ah. check out the workshop okay. as it happens. You can go online and register for those workshops. And really, most of the areas of consulting that we get into, we also have a workshop for that. So mm. one way that I find a lot of people get familiar with us is they go sign up for a workshop. They go, hey, that marketing class was pretty good. I think I'm going to go ahead and talk to Kurt tomorrow right. and see and sign up for the one-on-one -on -one consulting. Okay. And that's is that free? Is it cost? It's, it's all free. All free. Well, we say it's no cost. Okay. Because you know you've paid for it in other ways in your in your federal, state, or local taxes. You've, right. Uh, uh, and and we're going to ask a lot of work on right. that person's part. So there's no financial cost, but they are going to have to do some work to be successful with. Well, if you're going to own a business, you're going to work. That's just part of it, right? Right. Right. That that, okay, that that's really. I mean, it's to me, it's. I wish I'd have known about you guys a long time ago because I could do a class on, I can tell you what not to do. <laughs> I am an expert in telling you what not to do because it won't work. Yeah, well, most of our consultants have owned businesses before, right. including myself. Uh, okay. You know, and that is a, a, a nice precursor to have owned a business. But more than that, you know, I see, uh, I see a thousand businesses a year, one fashion or another, and I'm always learning from the other businesses about what works and what doesn't work. Doing this show? And doing shows like this, I have probably there's not an industry we've not interviewed and talked to. Yeah. And I and I still sit back going, yeah, I still gonna stay in TV. I, <laughs> I still like what I do. But what a great help! I, I really I, I give you the Pinellas County kudos, and you know you guys are really are you really are looking out for the small business guy. We are, you know, and we're economic development. Our goal is economic prosperity, right? Mm -hmm. So it makes a difference. We're able to measure the number of additional jobs we create. Uh, the number of new loans and and uh, the prosperity of local business because of it. Brother, thank you for coming on. I appreciate yeah. that. You guys stick around because we've saved the best for last. We've got the <laughs> Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce coming in, and we're going to talk about everything that they're doing, all the cool stuff. So stick around. We'll be right, we'll be right back after these messages.
Okay, like I said, we've saved the best for last. I got a net, Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce. I tell you what, it looks to me like you guys got stuff going on. We do. Let's talk about what's okay. going on. First of all, good morning, John. Good. No, it's That's, afternoon. Is it? Okay, sorry. Let's start again. It's good afternoon. <laughs> <It's all> good. <laughs> Anyways, we're glad to be here. And yes, we do have a lot of things going on. That's why I have, I have some problems. You got stuff, and I thought yeah. I was going to get hit here in a second. Yeah, but no, no, it's, it's, no, it's, no, it's a good no, thing. No, no, no. Um, I don't know where to begin, so I'll begin with Third Friday, a big mm. event in Safety Harbor every third Friday of the month. And... Um, we have over 200 vendors lined up on Main Street from wow. 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. every third Friday of the month. It it's is awesome. I, I have to say, um, I came down to one uh, last month. I was here last Did month. Did you? Yeah. Holy cow, that was a lot of people. Yes. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people. A lot of vendors, too. Yes. 200, up to 200 mm. vendors. That includes the merchants yeah. and the restaurants already established, right. but 200 vendors. Yeah, what did you like most about it? Uh, the food. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm an eater. Um, like, we'll go to the fair, and I don't go for the rides, I don't go for the, I go to eat. Well, you know, Safety Harbor has some unique food mm, yes, in do. restaurants yes, and do. pubs. And the yep. music, what'd you think about the music? The music was really good. It wasn't too loud. It was mm. it was nice. I could hear it all the way up and down. So I just, it was very enjoyable. Yeah. There's about 10 to 15 bands or musicians, mm -hmm. entertainment performing mm -hmm. on Main Street. That includes some in the pubs. And there's even something for children. At the gazebo, there's mm -hmm. um, like a, a kid's event. So there's something for the kids. Never made it by that, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah. And then music up and down Main Street. And um, every month we prepare a little schedule that looks like this. And it has all the bands. And um, there's 15 musicians on um, this month's um, I had, you event. Know, but I, I have to say, like a lot of times you go and you just get overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it's just, but it was nice. It wasn't overwhelming. It was literally you mm -hmm. walked right through and everything was fine. Yeah. What's cool is every block you go to or walk through, it's like, oh, you hear this music, the next block, a little something mm -hmm. else. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, big event every third Friday. It benefits and um, helps the, the merchants on Main Street mm -hmm. as well as the vendors. And all the vendors are a member of the chamber. So it's another reason to join the Safety Harbor Chamber of Commerce, exactly. right? Yeah. And then we're, we're really proud of our low. So I thought I'd bring yes. our T-shirt yes. because I think everyone's going to want to take one of these homes and absolutely. Home, and they are available at the Safety Harbor Chamber, and the chamber consists of the chamber and the visitor center, and we're open that whole night. We're open at well till 9 p.m. Yeah, I was going to say. And um, this was designed. Our logo was designed in house, so we're, we're proud nice. of that as well. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, we think so. 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 What's the brick for? The brick. Well, it's not to injure anybody. Thank I can God. promise you that. But we have a program called Paving the Way, and it's a fundraising okay. event. And uh, you pay for a brick. This is the, the brick that most people get. There's a larger brick, and you have your name on it and the name of your business. Some people put in memory of maybe a, a past relative right. or, or their favorite puppy. Um, it varies or flexible. And um, this is um, set in in front of the chamber as you walk in before you get to the front door outside in the sidewalk there's a lot of bricks that represent um the the members that paid for a brick not members it could be members it could be anybody okay and so it's a fundraiser and some of that money goes to scholarships we offer two scholarships every year oh, I didn't know that. Um, must be a safety harbor um resident okay uh, you don't necessarily have to go to Safety Harbor School. You could be going to one of the schools and um, one of the, uh, the one of the charter schools, okay. but you have to be a Safety Harbor resident. resident. Two scholarships, okay. college scholarships. Well, how much is a brick? They start at two fifty. This size is two fifty, and then we have some larger sizes that increase in price. And I'll have to look at my cheat sheet to to show. No, that's fine. Um, two hundred up to a thousand dollars, depending on the size the bricks, that you get. Right? Oh, that's the big brick. Big yeah, bricks. and it's so popular that in front of the entrance to the chamber, that is full of bricks now, yeah. and we're we're in phase two, which is right in front of the window. Okay. So next time you walk across the um, sidewalk in front of the chamber, read the bricks. Read the it's bricks. like going to Hollywood and seeing all the celebrities, right? Yep, exactly. So <laughs> what else yeah, you got going yeah. on there? Summer Splash is an event that is held every summer. Mm -hmm. It's usually at the um, 
Inverness um, uh, Resort, yep. the golf resort, and it includes five chambers, the five local chambers in Pinellas County, including um, Upper Tampa Bay, which is in Oldsmar, and um, it's a trade show. Right. We're there. Great. Uh, yeah, you should. Yep. But it's a great opportunity. The The price is reasonable. It's $150 mm -hmm. for a member to have a table. They get space to represent their business or organization. Right. And a lot of people come because they're interested in what's going on, number one. Maybe I want to join one of the chambers. Right. I want to see what the other businesses are doing. Mm -hmm. So it's a great um, it's great marketing and opportunity for the members to get involved. So you right. must be a member of one of the chambers. As as a member of all the chambers, mm -hmm. and we're we're there. It's the best reverse door knocking you'll ever do. Yes. It is. It, it is. It really is. It is. And I forget how many tables are set up, but I'm going to say at least 100 to yep. 150. I think it was something like that last yeah, time. yeah. It's it's incredible. And then the restaurants that participate. I was say, and there's oh food. my gosh, there's yes, excellent there food to to nibble on too right. while you're visiting with all the the members. So if anyone is interested, you get a um, contact the uh, Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce. You can go to their website. Mm -hmm. You can call our chamber. Right. You can really call any chamber in Pinellas yeah. County, call and they'll tell chamber. you how to. Right. That's right. They'll tell you how to, to get involved and participate. Right. Exactly. So awesome event. And the chamber keeps growing. Yes. We have over 400 members. Wow. And that's a lot for a community of Safety Harbor. You know, the yep. population of Safety Harbor is what, about 14 or 15,000? It, it may have changed yeah, the last like census, that. but not by that much. So we're an ideal location, right. close to Tampa Bay Airport. So we have a great conference room where people that can meet um, with clients that are flying into the airport for just a day or two and right. they may be in Largo or something. So um, great location. But yeah, we're continuing to grow. So, you know, did you hear what Morgan said from the burn, um, the, from the from burn boot camp? Yeah. Goes, so, and she said something that triggered me. I'm like, you know what? That is that can't explain the chamber better is you 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 get out what you put in. Yes. So if you put in and you put some work into your it being a chamber member, man, it is just, it, 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 the ROI is amazing. It is amazing, but you do, you have to put work into yeah. it. So we have some members that join, they're all excited about joining. We tell them about all the benefits. And it's overwhelming because we have so much to so offer. Much. So we right. reach out to them and remind them of things like, you know, if you if you got something on your Facebook that you want our, you know, people that follow our Facebook, mm -hmm. and we have over 4,000 followers, if you want to reach out to them, let us know what you're putting on your Facebook. We'll put it on ours. We have a revolving screen in our visitor center. Right. Send us a JPEG or a little video to put up there. Right. Attend our networking events. Yes. Attend, you know, Summer Splash. Be a vendor at one of right. our events. Lots of opportunities, but yes, you got to take part. Yeah, yeah it's too yeah. many, too many businesses. I've sit there and go, well, I joined the chamber and never got anything out of it. It's because you didn't put anything into right, it. Right, right. You, you got to be active. You got to be a part of it. You just can't go, well, I'm going to hang it on. I can't go put the plaque on and that's good enough for me. That's, it's not going to work. For right, you. right, right. I heard you talking to the um, Economic Pinellas yes. um, development and that comment was also made. You, yes. you start a business, you put all this effort into it. Well, you don't just sit back and let it happen. You got to work it, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah I remember like back else. in the day before social media, <clears throat> right? And all the big networking groups that are around now, you when you started a business, the first thing you went to the chamber, mm -hmm. then you went to the Better Business Bureau, right? right? right. And then you joined Rotary. Oh, right, that's, right. Th that's that's the three right. things you had to do yeah, as a business the, owner. Yeah, and those still exist. However, there's so much more. I know. I know. Oh my gosh, we have, um, you know, we were doing all those Zoom meetings oh, and networking events right. during COVID. And um, some of them are ideal for certain topics yes. and meetings. Yep. And so we continue those. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's nothing like face to face, right? Love face to face. Now, are you guys, you got ribbon cuttings coming up? We do. We have Tons ribbon of cuttings probably. often. Yes, yes, often. Weekly? So, um, almost weekly. Almost, almost awesome. weekly. So, it's important to check our chamber website. Yep. So, www.safetyharborchamber.com. Beautiful we have, website. We, thank you. Beautiful thank you. Website. We've designed that in house too. Good job. And we have an events page and it tells you what's happening, what ribbon cutting events, nice. networking events. Um, so, if someone wants to get a hold of you and say, hey, and then I want to be a chamber member, what do they do? Just go to the website or they give you a call? Either one. 
often they'll give us a call because they want to talk to somebody. Right. So I'll share a little bit of information, some of the benefits about joining a chamber, and then they can come in and fill out an application. They can go to our website and click on the join now and fill out an application and send it in. Some do both. They'll, they'll talk to me. They'll go online, fill out their application, send it in, and then call me to pay hmm. or stop by with a check. Right. We're flexible. See, it's all about whatever works. It's all, it's yeah. all about helping the business. So right. thank you for watching today. We really appreciate it. Today is My Chambers TV. We, we are based out of Safety Harbor. We're at Advise Wise uh, Financial right, right on Main Street. Yeah. You want some good advice? Come in and talk to these two young men. They were absolutely phenomenal. So see you guys next week on My Chamber TV.